So California is in trouble because now we have major issues with electricity that will be popping up within the next few years. So basically, if you, if you don't know about any of the news that's recently been going on, uh, one of California's like, last nuclear power plants is shutting down because it's reached it, its retirement age and it you know, provides a ton of power to the state in general, right, in specific cities. Um, I don't have them off the top of my head, but it'll be on screen. And so with Gavin Newsom and all these other companies and we're going fully electric, yada, 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 um, we're basically seeing that there's no actual sustainable source of electricity right now to replace coal, gas, all that, like natural gas and stuff like that. Um, I mean, nuclear would be a good option, but people just don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, Congress is like, we don't want to do, that. We, don't, we don't want Chernobyl happening. Yeah, yeah, and so, uh, we, I mean, we said it before in a previous video, like, just put them all in the desert. Exactly. Put them in the desert, and then, you know, you can literally keep them away from major populated uh, cities. But the issue is, and why California is going to have some issues in the next few years, is since, the, you know, the regulations and the fact that everyone's literally moving towards electric cars. I mean, I have a Tesla. I have plenty of friends who have Teslas. You know, everyone's getting those electric Audis. They're getting, you know, the, the electric Porsche. There's electric Porsches now. Dodge came out saying they're going for, you know, electric vehicles now. Um, pretty much every major manufacturer is saying we're making electric vehicles. So if you say by 2030, which I think was Newsom's date that he said you can't buy any more gas-powered cars in the state of California, um, we're going to have like a serious strain on the power grid because we already have rolling blackouts in the summer when it gets hot and they turn on, everyone turns on the ACs and rolling blackouts are instituted because of power shortages. So if you have a nuclear power plant that's retiring and you have basically no other way to sustainably you know, power everything, which is right now it's natural gas, coal, um, stuff like that, we're kind of still relying heavily on that and nuclear is kind of the way we need to go. Yeah, yeah I mean, We've already talked about this before. It's not that complicated. Yes, it is quite expensive. It costs, uh, I think it's six to nine billion for making every new, uh, for building a new nuclear reactor and the facility or whatever. But the whole point that we wanted to really focus on is because I have, a, I'm, I got this utility dive article popped up and the first paragraph is literally, um, as California's last nuclear facility, the 2.2 GW Diablo Canyon power plant approaches its scheduled retirement date. Some energy experts worry that the state hasn't fully prepared for what comes next. Exactly. This is what we, this is literally what we've been saying, which is the, the state is like not doing its job well, because we don't know. We, There's going to be a massive power people, strain. Yeah. How many millions of people rely on this thing and they're just like, ah, oh, we'll shut it down and figure it out later. Exactly. I mean, there's really no plan. Everybody's like, oh, everything needs to go green. And it's like, okay, great. That's, That's cool. cool. But you have no plan. But why don't we go nuclear? Why exactly. don't we use cold? Like, there's other, like, there's tons of things that they're just not investing to. Exactly. Investing into. It doesn't the make any sense. The state has a surplus of, what was it, $75 billion. And they're just like, oh, let's give a, a vaccination. Uh, Giveaways, you know? You want to you make some, some money? It's already free. It's like, come on, dude. Like. You know, we have homelessness. We have all these issues in the state of California, and I'm just like, can we please get Newsom out? Can we please get someone that actually knows what they're doing? Because if you look at it, with this nuclear power plant shutting down, okay, yeah, right now, it might not be that big of a deal, but like I said, the power, the power strain is coming. The more people that move off of, you know, uh, gas-powered cars, because, again, they're cheaper. I drive a Tesla, and, you know, I just supercharged on the way over here, and it's like $3. Three dollars, three to five dollars. I didn't even fully charge, but if I fully charged, the most I would ever pay during like rush hour is like 10 bucks, right? So they're cheaper. I charge at home most of the time. Most people charge at home. And every single person is heading in this direction, whether you like it or not. Tesla, literally, Elon Musk wants the Model 3 to be $25,000 to make the barrier to entry into this, this field super cheap. So. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. What do you think is going to happen to the power grid? Because it's already strained the in the summers. Blackouts. Yeah, we already have rolling blackouts. It's already strained in the summers. 
So what do you think is going to happen now that we're losing a nuclear power facility? We don't really have a lot of solar, wind, or hydro. And there's literally no backup. I mean, this article straight up says, yeah, the state hasn't really prepared for what's next. It's like, the fuck? Like, like, yeah. yeah, and you know, hey, the biggest issue right now is, you know, getting the Inglewood oil field out of here. It's like, it's dumb. So comment down below what you guys think and what do you think is going to happen in the future with uh, power in the, sta the state of California. See you next time.